So now Spartan 6 starter kit with us and it is on right now. I will show demonstration how to use that kit and the, what are all the things we can do using this kit. I will explain everything in detail. So please bear with me. So okay, let's go step by step. So this is Spartan 6 starter kit. Uh, we have Spartan 6 LX9 TQ144 FPGA on this kit. We have USB powered and also we can provide external 5 volt source uh, supply for this kit. Uh, of course we can use USB only uh, as we have USB powered and we are using laptop right now. So apart from this you here ADC is there, 8 bit ADC, 8, 10 bit DAC is there. So I can see there is temperature sensor LM35 is soldered and there is one preset also there just to check uh, DAC. Oh, relay is also there, buzzer is also there, and we have four push button, eight slide switch, eight uh, general purpose LED is there. One RGB LED is there. Mode selection is also given. Uh, this two connector are pretty useful. That is for step. This is for stepper motor, and this is for DC motor. As this board has LM 293D L293D uh, motor driver IC on board, so we can use either stepper motor or DC motor one at a time only apart from that this board has this uh, one two three four five connector eight pins in each connector we can use as uh, io and another pin is like 3.3 uh, and ground so we can connect any 3.3 device externally which we can we want to use this board also has 16 by 2 led uh, 16 by 2 lcd and connected in 8-bit fashion not 4-bit these are 4 7 segment and this chip is used for uh, JTAG and also USB to serial converter on bottom side this board has M25P80 flash used for configuration and also for uh, user data so this is a very good and useful board for a student and hobbyist we can do many things using this so this is the basic block diagram for that so user manual is uh, quite good i found so as they have written use external 5 volt to ampere supply whenever you are using stepper motor or dc motor if you connect any stepper motor or dc motor of course with the 5 volt range only then we have to connect uh, it is better to connect uh, external 5 volt if not we can use uh, usb also but uh, there it may sink more current depend on motor so this is uh, LCD connection shown and uh, UCF means pin connection is given here. Okay, so push buttons are active low, not active high. Uh, this is how the MCP3004 ADC is connected. So these are the DC and this is ADC. So it is SPI ADC. These are the pins same way they have connected DAC also in the SPI manner <coughs> and this is the connection for that FT2232 IC JTAG one port and UART on another port it is connected to FPG and these are the pins this board has 12 MHz oscillator of course we can use any frequency we want using DCM we can generate that whatever we want and buzzer is also there on this board uh, LED RGB LED is there one 
so this is how we have to connect to external motor and these are the free IO connection so now let's see how this board works so this is user manual for Spartan 6 starter kit as we just saw this this is how to test EDC so I just program EDC bit file in this uh, Spartan 6 starter kit so this is how it is connected here they have given in the red line analog voltage input range is for all channel 0 to 3.3 volt as we know FPGAs are working on 3.3 I voltage is also 3.3 this ADC is also working on 3.3 as we have connected supply to 3.3 there so our maximum input voltage should be 3.3 so then only it will work correctly so this is how they have connected everything so there is one jumper given for connection of this preset and uh, we can connect we can take analog data from external source we can select here what we want here is also one more jumper for temperature sensor and for another input channel we can select from where we have to take analog data from temperature sensor or from this uh, external thing so they have explained like this so this is LM35 and this pin is going to pin number 3 of uh, MCP3004 EDC this is how they will display on LCD we'll see actual demonstration on LCD I will program that I have already programmed that um, bit file so we'll see how it uh, behaves actual on kit so they have explained here how the calculation is done for EDC you can see here as this is 10 bit EDC so V reference is 3.3 3.3 divided by 1023 so this is one value for one step value for one step so number of count on LCD into uh, this value for one step so that is our actual analog input value we can correspond it to that is thing also they have given one Wi-Fi trainer user manual so in this they have explained they have connected they have interface to ESP8266 to Spartan 6 starter kit and they are turning on and off uh, LEDs and relays and everything source code is also available so they have explained which AT command need for this or uh, doing this so okay this is the thing we can use on uh, web server if we just press this toggle button so that LED will toggle corresponding LED so we can toggle the delay buzzer RGB LED everything is given so we can just use this and we can build our own we can modify this and we can build our own application we can send ADC data to web server we can connect to DC motor we can connect AC motor there so this is a pretty good board for beginner and student so this is how that board works just we saw now thank you thanks for watching I got Spartan 6 starter kit connected with the laptop as it is as I received this kit comes with a USB cable pretty good one USB cable actually and this kit also looks very good for beginner and for student uh, for colleges also as I see uh, this kit has many uh, peripherals this has uh, stepper motor driver 7 segment LCD EDC DAC relay buzzer 
टेम्परेचर सेंसर ऑन बोर्ड यू एस बी जो टाइप मेन थिंग विच विथ विच यू कैन डायरेक्टली प्रोग्राम यूजिंग जैलिंग सिम्पैक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर नो एक्सटर्नल सॉफ्टवेयर इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑल्सो वी कैन कनेक्ट मेनी डिफरंट डिवाइसेस यूजिंग दिस जी पी एल्स हेडर वी कैन कनेक्ट वाई फाई ब्लूटूथ यूजिंग दिस जी पी एल मॉडल दिस इज प्रिटी गुड वन बोर्ड सो वी कैन सी द एल ई डी इज ब्लिंकिंग एंड आई हैव कनेक्टेड डायरेक्टली सो नाउ वील सी वील प्रोग्राम द अनदर बिट फाइल विच आई हैव डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम गिट हब लिंक now i am going to program the another bit file which i downloaded from github see we can program directly through xilinx impact tool no external software or tool required board is already connected so it will check jitter so it we found lx9 board here lx9 fpj so i will program this bit file now let's see the result actual on hardware what is going to happen with this adc test dot bit so i have programmed that now let's see uh, on lcd we can find some values are toggling so first value is for first channel second for second third and fourth for respective channels as this id says for channel for analog input so third channel is connected for uh, temperature sensor lm35 and fourth channel is connected to uh, blue color trim port so i will just uh, touch my board to lm35 sensor we'll see what is going to happen we can see it is 350 and my finger temperature it sense and well is getting increased is i reach you know it will go decrease slowly slowly so this trim pot i will vary so well is going to change now so this is pretty good board we found here now i have programmed a dsc test bit file so we can see on lcd fpj tech solution pune and that four digit are there zero zero seven segment also showing zero zero and i have connected first channel to a multimeter as we are going to test a analog voltage directly so now i will slightly change the input so we are giving input from uh, this slide switch so see it shows 128 and voltage on multimeter it is 1.6 it is half of 3.3 so it is almost 3.4 volt input voltage we are getting at the input that's why this is slightly on higher side so if we change this so multimeter will show the voltage accordingly let's see the total so this is our final total voltage we got 3.356 so if i change this input accordingly output will get change this is how the dc will work on this part and 6 starter kit